So concerns about the medication, and then talking about inflammation in general. Uh, if we sprain an ankle, sprain a knee, or any other area, we'll notice that it usually gets swollen, gets warm to touch, decreased function, and pain. And these are really your body's attempt at inflammation, its attempt at healing. So it really is a purposeful and appropriate defense. It's local mobilization of cells, it's cleansing and repair process in an effort for your body to reach auto-regulation, which is just a fancy word for balance. Your body is trying to achieve balance and heal. So if you suppress that too much, then things will never really get to the healing point like they should. It allows toxins to deposit and it obstructs regular cellular function. So we don't want to completely suppress that. It's not the right thing. But yet, if you don't do something about inflammation, ongoing inflammation, chronic inflammation can lead to scarring, can lead to loss of elasticity and mobility, just like people who get frozen shoulders. Um, and inflammation in general has been linked to other bad things, uh, cancer, inflammation of the esophagus and so forth, will increase your risk of cancer risk. So what are we to do? Uh, if we don't want to take that chance of anti-inflammatory medicines, the steroids, but we want to deal with some type of inflammation. Well, more and more people I've found over the years, although I've been practicing conventional medicine for 20 years, more and more people are reaching towards herbs and things like that. And I've always had some concern about that. Full strength herbs, supplements like that can interact with medications. They certainly can have side effects. So I really don't like those types of things, although some of them may be safe. You just have to be very cautious with them. It's what led me down the road to homeopathy. Homeopathy is a natural medical science. It's been refined over the past 200 years. And basically, it stimulates our body's natural healing processes. Medications are prepared from natural substances, such as plants, minerals, catalysts. Uh, these are highly diluted microdoses, which causes them, or results in them being safe and gentle. So we're not talking about full strength herbs. These are microdoses. So homeopathy has been around for a long time. What I'm really interested in, and what I've made my business to understand more and more, is homotoxicology. Homotoxicology is a subset of homeopathy. So it's a bridge between conventional medicine and classic homeopathy. It's more of my comfort level. Being a physician for many years and really looking at evidence-based medicine, uh, I want really the proof behind things. I want clinical evidence, I want studies, I want to make sure that things are safe and effective. So that's why I deal with homotoxicology, it's that subset. This is indication-based, so in other words, I use my regular conventional medical skills to diagnose someone, rule out other things. And it's really seen the symptoms and diseases are seen as expressions of our body's attempt to neutralize or otherwise deal with toxins that we've developed in our body and all the toxic processes and the things that we encounter. Uh, it's based on a more complex things that physicians who understand this realize in the six phase table, uh, which really helps to get people back into their normal cellular function and health.